So this got popular in the 1950s. All the cars were all customized. And That's before my time. Yeah. <laughs> this was like 50s and 60s and 70s and 80s, and then up to the 90s, and then this kind of dropped off around these. The, unless you're doing trucks for letters, you know, like uh, construction companies yeah. and stuff like that, it's, it's not as popular anymore, around here at least. So. Fellow that did a truck one time, but he swapped the barrel before, and he started the started the first initial, the same place on both doors. Really? So it was backwards. <laughs> <laughs> that must have looked out right to him. Dirt steady. A lot of practice, that's all. It's not perfect, but I'm not going for perfection right now. I'm just going for a little bang for the buck. <laughs> now some of the trucks are coming in the, in the for decals instead of... Yep, most of them get decals. It's, I get special uh, requests to do the painted stuff, and that's usually on higher end vehicles like a Mercedes or a, you know, a bigger trucks, stuff like that, where I walk down the whole side of a car with a brush like this and people are amazed, they're like, I don't understand how you do it. <laughs> So if you watch, I'm doing one side and then the other, so it's kind of it makes it kind of symmetrical. Sometimes I don't do symmetrical designs, but for this I'm doing it. So it gives me a. Yeah, and just we're eyeballing it, so there's no measurements here. I'm just I put a center line down with a piece of tape, or at least that fine line tape. It gives me my center and I work off from that in the very beginning. And I pull the tape and just start painting, that's all, filling in. Neat. I take pretty much anything and make it neat, you know, like cool, not take stuff that looks plain and decorate it. And make like during the holidays, I get requests to do like for gifts for guys, basically, because no one can ever get a gift just for someone that sometimes that uh, you know, it's always a tie or you know, something like something that's not unique enough. But I take something that's plain and put something like this on it and it makes it personalized. So, and if it's on a car, it's even better. Like a couple weeks ago, I did a lady's brand new Lincoln. She wanted to have something different because it plain, the car was so plain. Even though she paid like $50,000 for the car, she's like, it just looks too plain. I want something on it. So we put a nice pinstripe down either side of it. And kind of decorated it. I thought you'd do a dollar sign. Dollar sign? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, they call this freehand, but there's really nothing free about it because it costs money to do it. downstairs that I started painting and it's all metal flake like red metal flake looks like a ruby red slipper and uh, I might pull that up here today if I if they'll let me take it out of the room and do some pinstriping on that
pretty funny because like little kids will come by and they're like, "What is you doing?" They don't. Everything is done on the computer. They're not. They're not familiar with stuff yeah. like this. Yeah. They're fascinated by it. Let's see. Now, do you uh, play around with other designs like uh, comics or stuff like that? Superman. Um, I only do that kind of stuff if I'm doing an actual job. I usually, funny enough, I don't do this on just for the fun of it. I do it just to get paid. But um, yeah, I do stuff like that when I'm requested to do it. But in general, not really. Right. Now you must do run into problems with licensing. Licensing? Well, some of the stuff I do is uh, I do my own version of stuff. Oh, okay. So just a little bit off. Yeah, just a little bit different. So, but most of the time I'm doing this kind of stuff. So, have you guys ever seen? You probably haven't. Ever seen pinstriping done before? Mm -hmm. You have? I'm On what? TV. On TV. I mean, have you seen it done live? No. Most of the most people well, your age probably haven't seen this done. So, can you give me a hint? Huh? Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. You got to be kind of a lot of practice. Just let me know when how long I'm gonna do this for. How long has it been so far? Seven. Yeah, a couple more minutes. Seven minutes? Mm -hmm. I have, what, uh, 53 minutes to go? <laughs> I can do this for an hour. <laughs> So you're making a YouTube now, is that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I have a couple different. Uh, I use um, YouTube. I have Facebook. I use all kinds of um, social media for my advertisement, and this is helpful because people can actually see what you're doing. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. See you later. You're welcome. That guy's good. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I wish I could lift this up higher. All right. 